recording. We are streaming. Okay. We're live, folks. Hello and welcome to anybody who's going to be joining me. I'm going to get down to business. I use it. Hello! Welcome in, new viewer. I am drawing a woman uh, plagued by possession. That's a good question. It was um, a prompt that I'd seen in one of the many, many Arttober kind of uh, prompt displays for, for the month, and I really liked the idea. I was watching scary movies one night and decided to draw it up and 
figure it out. <laughs> yeah, maybe. That's a good question. Some people don't believe in it altogether. Um, I'm not too sure myself. It could be. I mean, not like I would know. I have never been possessed before. But it's, uh, but yeah, I mean, theoretically, it could be a lot like, uh, hypnosis just to be under some kind of spell.
You know, there have been a couple of good television shows. Um, not really too sure if you've had access, if you have access or if you're in the United States. Um, but there's one that just got uploaded recently to Netflix. The TV show title is Evil, and that covers on possession. Um, and in fact, I think that's what I was watching when I started drawing this. Yeah, possibly. I mean, it, it would make sense. Um, you know, people always say that we manifest our, um, the things that happen to us and stuff like that. So maybe if you just believe in possessions and demons and things like that, you're more likely to succumb to possession. That could be part of it. Um, but the show Evil covers on possession. Um, and it's it's interesting because it follows a woman who is um, not a firm believer in that kind of a thing. So she's there to like give uh, scientific input to exorcisms and things. And then Hulu just came out with a show called uh, Hellstrom about a family of people who were possessed by demons or half demon or something of that nature. Both were very interesting shows. Entertaining. For the moment, at least. Other people have said, um, because of certain stories in the Bible and everything, that uh, demons have to get permission. Um, well, not, not demons specifically, but angels would have to get permission to possess a, a human vessel. Um, so, I don't know, it kind of just all de depends on what you believe. Demons don't care, they'll just take what they want, supposedly. Thank you. Hey, I've seen. Yeah, uh, I also have a different animation for anybody following, too. So, uh, Dragon's Link there. If you wanted to give it a test, I don't think you're a follow. Hey, look at that. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> yeah, I worked real hard on that last night. It was fun. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, this overlay kind of matches with the oh, cover or background that I have on the channel main page and everything. And it all just kind of fits with this particular picture too. <laughs> I'm not changing it for every picture that I make or anything, but no stretch of the imagination would I do that. Uh, that's too much work and I'm too lazy. <laughs> but uh yeah, I think it all, it's got a very good Halloween feel, but also matches my personality pretty well. And I'm just trying to figure out how to get the shape of this guy going. And I don't know if I want him to keep the uh, shadow horns that I've got. They're on a different layer. So here's here's what he would look like behind her without the horns. Here's what he'd look like with the horns. Yeah, what do you think of scene in terms of uh, all of the possession lore and mythology around demonology and all that fun stuff? Do you think that demons just take what they want, or do they have to get some kind of permission from the host, or do you think it's all just a bunch of hooey and demons don't even exist? <laughs>
Oh, I'm excited for this joke. I can already tell it's going to be great. <laughs> So I remember what brush I'm using. <laughs> Vampire, what do you call the place where the ocean meets the sea? Human, huh? What do you call the place where the ocean meets the sea? Oh, sure. <laughs> yes, you can come in! <laughs> That's sneaky. And I've seen that joke before, but I do really like it. It's very good. I'm still chuckling at that vampire joke. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Needed that. <laughs> That's okay. I I can't think of anything on the spot either. That's a little bit better. Hmm. And then... Any suggestions on these horns? I'm thinking... Well, maybe I'm not thinking at 
parts. <laughs> Let's see. I wonder if I just move them around. Nope. Wrong thing. Still to the gym. I think I understand the question. Are you allowed to go mode more? Weeb. Weeb mode. <laughs> Sure, why not? I don't see anything wrong with being a weeb. <laughs> Maybe I should find something wrong with that, but to each their own, I guess. I've never seen Fire Force, so you're not you're not totally weaving out on me, I guess, because I don't know what you're talking about. I'll have to Google that ASAP though. I'll Google it now. I have a phone. I can do that. <laughs> Okay. Ooh. That's a cool character design, too. Okay. Nifty. I like its grin. That's a cool grin for a demon. Just erase these and try something completely different. Also, I wasn't really done with this. I did want to do something. <laughs> What's your theory? Or 
Or is that your theory, that, that possession is only for skeptics? Yeah, that's true. A, a lot of early um, real-life possession cases, at least, were definitely of people who were mentally ill or um, incapacitated in some form or fashion, and whoever was their caretaker used possession as an excuse to either institutionalize them or have them taken away, or just, you know, lack of understanding of what was happening. And if you're deeply religious, like a lot of people out there are, it's definitely um, something to think about, for sure. Because if you believe it, then it can happen, but it's just a matter of, yeah, misuse of power is pretty common. In fact, I was just listening to uh, some of my podcasts this morning and they were talking about the Salem Witch Trials. I mean, if we're going to talk about misuse of power, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> and um, I don't know if either of you watch Bailey Sarian um, on YouTube, but she also covered the Salem Witch Trials while she was doing one of her Halloween episodes. Yeah, they can. That can be one of the signs. Um, gosh, from what they say in movies, they say like the signs are inhuman strength, speaking in tongues that they've uh, never spoken before, so being able to speak Latin out of the blue. Like, I can't speak Latin or understand it, but if I suddenly started speaking it, that could be cause for concern. Um, and... Uh, aversion to holy water, that kind of a thing. Having inhuman strength is impossible, or speaking Latin is impossible. <laughs>
Yeah, that's possible. Um, but there are uh, more mm, realistic or scientific um, record of some phenomenons of people exhibiting superhuman strength uh, due to increased amounts of adrenaline. Um, such as there's an account of a woman whose baby got trapped under a car and she was somehow able to lift the car three times her weight, three billion times her weight probably, um, and was able to lift the car off of her baby. Um, obviously she wasn't possessed, but yeah. Yeah, see? Obscene's got it. She's on my level. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes and no. I don't know that uh, they talked about the after effects, though, and whatever they had record of. And I mean... When you, not that I'm saying that records of possession are true or anything, but if you were to look at anything that the church might have <laughs> on um, on displays of possession, I it's not like they're going out and like lifting boulders for 24 hours a day or whatever. They're mostly just like tossing a priest across a room or breaking furniture that was super heavy or something along those lines so again short bursts it's not like it's um a prolonged situation and that's right Oof. That doesn't sound fun. I wouldn't. <laughs> That's also a very good point. <laughs> it's not like we hear um, or see in superhero movies that the superheroes are going to take an ice bath after having a fight <laughs> with the villain or anything. wondering if I like having the definition of the top of his head outlined or if I want to give him hair or if I want to go back to the horns. What am I doing with this guy? This dude was a very last minute addition at the end of my last stream, so I frankly have no plan. Hmm. Maybe. Thank you. 
This is later. I don't know. <laughs> it's the layer that had the horn, so I might delete it. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go back to her for a minute and see about what I'm gonna do with this. Uh, mouth situation Yeah, um, I wanted to keep her pretty bald. When I started this, I had sketched out some hair, kind of like, she kind of looked like, uh, Samara from, uh, The Ring. So, uh, I wasn't fond of it. And then, as I was playing around with ideas, I liked... I just liked keeping her bald and then having this tattoo in place of where hair was. Um, but we'll see. How can I not see? Okay. I just crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, no, not a cancer patient. Just a, a possessed psychic or something. I don't know. I kind of like the idea of a buzz cut. I might go in and add that when I do a little more shading. to have teeth or not. Yeah, because I think in most usual circumstances the lips cover that area anyway. Okay. I decided to do something different.
<laughs> no. <laughs> no, I am not. No contacts here. Those are her real eyeballs. <laughs> Super duper real as they come. Yeah, and I... <sighs> I'm gonna darken them too though because when when it's zoomed out you really can't tell what I've done with the eyes and I'm not a fan of that Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's all I need to do. Quick abort mission. I have done that a ton of times and usually because I've got a bunch of craft stuff lying around the house and if I just get bored and wander around I'll pick up whatever I find usually.
<laughs> well good, I'm glad you found something to do. So what's everybody up to on this fine day? Oof. Yep. Ooh, that'll be fun catching up with friends. I've clearly got nothing better going on. I'm just chilling. I was hoping to be able to finish this thing in like an hour, maybe two hours, but it's not looking like that's how it's gonna go. <laughs> I don't think I've got the discipline to do that. I'm gonna do something creepy with the inside of this mouth, but I'm not... Uh, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. I'm not liking the shading. Idea. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I'm gonna try it out. Um,
Riddles. What kind of riddles? Well, I don't know that I'm going to be able to uh, focus on them very hard since I'm drawing, but you're welcome to throw some out there. water surely am i right See him. Oh yeah, my mic is extra sensitive. I don't even have it anywhere near my face. Um, I sniffled. 
I don't know what noise I just made. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slobber. Slobber or white glowing slime. Either one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, okay. I wasn't sure if the white was going to be too much, but it's nifty. Hmm. I legit don't know where my eyes went. Is that my eyes? Hey, I found my eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry for uh, imprinting that image in your mind. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a fun thing to picture. I say as I draw a woman possessed dripping ooze from her orifices. <laughs>
for uh, your photography stuff. Be a good idea to learn how to edit for that. <laughs> I completely understand that point of view. I thought I was lazy too, and then uh, realized that, you know, I don't have to have a webcam. I don't have to, like, really put myself out there that much. All I have to do is draw, and since I'm drawing already, might as well just put it up on screen for other people to enjoy. And so far, so good. I've been having fun with it, so... But I wouldn't, by any stretch of the imagination, try to call myself a content creator either. I'm just drawing for the sake of drawing and letting people watch me do it, I guess. <laughs> hey, maybe! How's it going, girl? Thanks for following, by the way. Good to see ya. Glad you're here. Oh man, I can't game to save my life. I <laughs> I will never stream myself doing video games because it would just be an embarrassment and everybody in chat would make fun of me. How's your day going, May baby? I guess I could just call you May, but I like saying May baby. It makes me smile. <laughs> figured I've been seeing a lot of your posts on Instagram and Twitter and enjoying them thoroughly I mean that's how a lot of people learned how to edit and stuff um, but I mean if you just wanted to edit photography uh, and AMVs wouldn't wouldn't help on that front, but yeah, any anything that would work really, like anything you enjoy, just sit down and play around with it. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. So like gaming or what well, if you made a YouTube video and editing practice aside, what kind of content would you have in your videos? I 
I'm sorry. I know that can be discouraging, but I did see your red bubble, and let me tell you, those socks that you have with that cute Halloween pattern, they're real tempting, man. <laughs> if if I had a penny to my name. <laughs> <laughs> well then just do videos of gaming I mean a lot of these um, let's players like Markiplier and Jacksepticeye and all that stuff they're not technically super good at playing video games in my opinion they die a lot so <laughs> but it still makes for good entertainment I think that'd be just fine I love everything spooky and it's just such a cute design but the truth is I have very large feet <laughs> so so like buying socks online or buying things that are supposedly one size fits all chances are they don't actually fit me but I don't know they're still stinking cute and I, I do I'm a sucker for a good like cute patterned sock I have um, I have a pair of socks that has like a little cartoon girl sitting in a sewing machine and then it's got little geometric patterns going all the way up the ankle uh, but then embroidered into the socks <laughs> it says uh, <laughs> it says oh you crafty bitch <laughs> I think that's the best for socks uh, cussy, cussy socks those are the best I just want a set of socks that has nothing but cuss words all over them. Hey Jason, how's it going? Oh uh, yeah. Yes, I am familiar with sock dreams. In fact, I think I have a sticker of theirs around here close to my desk. Good times, good times. Did I paint the veins on the same layer as the actual eyes themselves? I must have. No? Yes? Okay, that's what that is. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, Gosh, but you still just can't see it. Like on my tablet, these eyes are bugging out. But on the actual monitor, not so much. They don't look very uh, veiny and creepy. Oh, that one looks kind of good. as low as possible. Now yeah, it looks ridiculous on my tablet. I don't know. The differences between visualization and screen resolution is just crazy. Yeah. Okay, fine. He might be right. <laughs> Do 
has to make up these things to really stand out. Um, that's the problem. Maybe red stuff on the demon. That's a good choice. I don't want to use there. Okay, take a step back and figure out what I want to do next. I'm going to add some highlights to the slime. I think I want to deepen her contours a little bit. Um, I agree, adding red somewhere. Maybe into the smoke? Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you not zooming? That doesn't look cool at all. We're <laughs> gonna do whatever mess I just did. Crap, what was the default setting on this brush? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't trying to go too like gory gory on this one like it's I want it to be kind of messy and weird but mostly that's going to be with the black sludge than it is going to be like blood blood because I went gory with the last piece that I did before this one and kind of wanted to take a different angle at it
I mean, you really can't tell what I've done. But I still like it, I think. What do you guys think? Having a black sludge splatter in the eyes. <laughs> it's so weird to say stuff like that because it's it's like not, you know, everyday usual conversation. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Get the other eye then.
anyone dares ask me where the light source is, I will fight you. I will take you out back and fight you. Because there is no light source in a possession. <laughs> Everything is dark. So, I don't know. Let's just assume that she's glowing from within, shall we? <laughs> That's cheating. Very shiny goop. The shiniest goop that there ever was. Put that on the uh, marketing labels. Want shiny goop? Get possessed. Only nine nine nine. <laughs> The dots. <laughs> the orange layer. I really need to like label these layers. I think I'm gonna take a quick pause and figure out my mess over here. Let's see. Okay. Um. Forgive my typing noises.
it doesn't matter. <laughs> Put a hammer and uh, <laughs> My line art is getting lost at least. I think that was kind of the idea. <laughs> I'm very technical when it comes to naming my layers. I'm a professional. <laughs> gonna draw more highlights on this layer directly and hope that I get the general shape correct. Can I draw on a layer that's hidden? No. Let's see. Probably not. Maybe? Nope. Dang. That stinks. Cause you know what? Okay. I got distracted again and I'm not looking at my demo. Um, Uh oh. Ah, shoot. Yeah, don't do that.
You know? I wonder. I'm trying to get to the start. No. I don't think that messed it up, did it? Did you see a major change? I don't think so. Okay. Words words. Okay. Uh, one sec. I feel like I have to sing this. I'm gonna mute real quick. Music will still play, obviously. Sorry, I'm just not saying your comment, Jason. And you're right, it's not just basic line one, line two mode. But it, um, it could be. It should be, probably. <laughs> She's turning out alright. Getting kind of sick and tired of working. Why did you do that? Push the hotkey. Uh, I don't know why, but I just have the urge to get real crazy with it. And I worry that doing something like that's gonna ruin the whole thing. see the highlights that are all right that works <laughs> now there's less mess Thank you. 
Oh, it's too much anyway. I'm also going to mix up the music a little bit. Right now we're listening to some synthwave, but let's... No, I don't want holiday. Let's go for some chill tunes and see what happens. Yeah, this sounds cool. Ten percent. All right. How's that? A little louder. I'm just gonna keep slowly inching it up until somebody says, "Ah, stop." <laughs> How about that? Alright, and you can still hear me loud and clear if I decide to talk. I've been pretty good about talking throughout these. Okay, cool. Yeah, my mic is extra sensitive. So, fun story I bought a microphone uh, that came with an arm. And a what you call it? Uh, like the a screen, I guess is what they're called. And um, I thought, oh, this would be great for streaming and everything. It was on sale. Uh, yeah, pop filter. Thank you. And I thought, oh, that's gonna be great because the microphone I am currently using and the one I've used for streams prior, it's just like a those little clip-on mics, the teeny tiny, I want to say the name of it starts with an L. Uh, but it's kind of, it's what people use to like clip on the lapel of a t-shirt or something. Yeah, a lapel mic, thank you. <laughs> and uh, I, it was El Cheapo, I think I got it for like, yes, Lavalier. That's the one I was looking for, not lapel mic, but yes. Um, and I think I got it for like 10 bucks. It's teeny tiny. It's got a decently long cord, but I didn't like having to clip it onto something so that I, it would be close enough to my mouth for me to actually talk into it. And so I thought for sure this new mic was going to be it. It was going to be 10 times better than, than the lavalier. And <laughs> I, I get it. I whip it out. I set it up. And I start testing it, and it sounds like a POS, like just an absolute piece of shit. <laughs> and I, I can't, I can't get over the fact that I spent like almost forty dollars on that. But I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it was worth it because it got, it came with the, the pop filter and the arm, and really, that's what I'm using. So I now have the lavalier clipped to. Uh, the pop filter, which is connected to the arm, connected to the whole rig and everything. And I can move it around and I'm no longer, like, literally chained to my desk because of this microphone. And I don't have to keep clicking it and unclipping it and all of that stuff, so. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I I can I can feel Todd just rolling his eyes at me and my lack of microphone knowledge. 
but really, he's a nerd about it, so. <laughs> I feel like I'm still the normal one here. <laughs> but, yeah, and I mean, it. when I listen back to uh, audio tests and these recordings and stuff, gosh, it sounds good. Like, for this little El Cheapo $10 lavalier, this is actually a really good mic. And I'm quite impressed. So... I might have to go leave a review or something. And then... Dang. And I think I... I honestly can't remember. I bought a couple of things. I bought this microphone and then I bought like this teeny tiny little ring light thing. Because I thought for a quick second I was going to do makeup YouTube tutorials. And uh, that went... That went out the window real fast. <laughs> but it works out for this. Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. One day, if I ever feel comfortable putting my face on these two, I will. But for now. And those will be the days when I actually do makeup. Maybe I'll stream some body painting or face painting or even turn myself into a monster or something, that'd be fun. But as of right now, I'd rather not. Um, one of these days, I do want to try um, hooking my phone up and setting it up at my crafting desk and see if I can stream um, my sculpting and stuff. I'm going to try that sometime soon. So one of these days, if I'm not drawing, I'll be sculpting on stream. Um, I just don't know if my phone battery can hold up, even if it's plugged in, if it's running a bunch, and you know, streaming is going to drain the battery like super quick. Um, so I don't know that it would be a successful stream, but it's worth giving a shot, I guess. Only way to learn is to fail a bunch, so that's what I'll do. Gosh, of course I've been streaming for two. My phone is awful. Did I do that? Was I muted that whole time in talking, but you could still hear me? I'm real confused. I don't know what just happened. Or did I accidentally click that? Okay, I was muted. Yeah. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't, re I don't even know. What was the last thing you even heard me say? I haven't the slightest idea. Clearly I might be tired and I should probably call it a night. <sighs> I have a little bit of a stalemate on this one. Yeah, so wanted to stream sculpting with my phone, uh, but my phone itself is a piece of crap. 
uh, can't hold a charge to save its life. And uh, so if I was going to stream using it, uh, I'd have to have it plugged in. And I don't know that it would still withstand doing a stream, even if it's plugged in. Because sometimes if I'm running something egregious on my phone, even if it's plugged in, it will just be like, nope. Like, for example, when I'm watching a stream on my phone and I have it plugged in, it'll drain the battery like in an hour. Um, so that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Not kind of. It is annoying. Um, and so I'm sure I wouldn't be able to stream for very long if I was. No, I don't have a webcam. Um... Yeah. No, I don't have a webcam. I thought about... I added one to my wish list and then I decided that I didn't really want one so I took it off. It's really not that big of a deal. Um... Yeah. I'm okay for now. I just don't know what I'll do about the whole sculpting situation. I think I'll just stick to taking pictures of it instead of the final products. That'll be probably the best scenario. I can just dark. Sludge. Yes, smooth jazz for this picture. That works. Jason, did you see my uh, new follow animation? I don't know if anybody's followed since you joined on or not. Oh, maybe you saw May Babies. You might have seen hers.
Yeah. What do you think? Did I do a good job? I think I did a good job. I'm quite proud. <laughs> Man, now you've got me wanting pizza, too. That's okay, though. I have mac and cheese on the fridge, so I can only want. Okay. <laughs> yes, it is white cheddar mac and cheese, my friend. White cheddar. Sharp sharp white cheddar mac and cheese. It's real tasty. I added uh, some... Uh... <laughs> no, it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. I've now become obsessed with Domino's Pizza after having not eaten it since, like, elementary school. And, um, that's been a, a problem. I've been eating way too much pizza because that five, uh, two or more for five ninety nine deal is uh, a real kicker. Huh. Pizza Tuesdays instead of Taco Tuesdays? It doesn't have the same ring to it. I don't approve. I think I need to call it quits here after this, because I'm sure I'm boring everyone to bits. Yeah, well, they have a pan pizza that is very similar to Pizza Hut, and I quite like that, because I'm a big pan pizza lover. I just like the texture of that crust style, and it tastes really good. Uh, as long as they don't put too much sauce on it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're going to have pizza soup again. <laughs> that wasn't a fun experience for me. But I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see. Listen here. Listen here. We're gonna fight now. <laughs> what about ducks? Oh, you're ducking because I'm fighting you. 
That's why. Rightfully so. I really want to highlight with the color, and that's just not gonna let me, is it? <laughs> Honestly, that looks kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Actually, I wonder what happened if I just set this to this. Good. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay. Cool situation. Yeah, I like I like adding in the colored light source or colored highlighting because it 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 helps with the whole uh, eyeball situation that Obscene was talking about earlier with how it just kind of stood out. It was weird. I didn't really know what to do, so this is things like that, I guess. to start remembering what my settings are before I change them. Does <laughs> anybody remember what the heck my brush density was? I think it was like 82. Let's, well, let's just go with that.
Yeah, I'm liking that. I think it's looking good. Basically going with an idea that she's like literally glowing from inside um, Because of the possession like she's burning from the inside out almost I think that's the excuse I'm gonna go with for my lack of light source <laughs> Oh, there's no light source because the light source is quite literally on the inside of her <laughs> Texture. Like I need more texture. Oh. <laughs> Listen, if I'm going to fight Jason, I'm going to fight you. <laughs> Alright, well. Yeah. Besides, if anybody, like, asked, like, legitimately was like, why isn't this? I'd be like, screw you, it's art. Who cares? <laughs> Who are you <laughs> to ask? <laughs> Besides, doing this for fun, I'm not trying to be some kind of professional nonsense maker or something. Um, but to that point, I want to do something around here. Side of my mouth again. <laughs> With you? Yeah. So, should be able to.
What's that tone like? <laughs> what did I do with that? Seriously, what did I do with my tongue? <laughs> I have lost my tongue. How did that happen? There it is. Wow, I'm blind. Some lag and my lens are going nuts. Great. Does that look like zoomed out? It looks weird. <laughs> okay. <laughs> To uh, solidify my whole glowing from within. <laughs> Put the glow at the back of the throat. That's not suggestive at all. <laughs> it's okay. I need to do something. A tattoo. Where's my tattoo layer? Derp, derp, derp. Mm. 
Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna call it an early night, pretty much. I'm gonna wrap this up here pretty soon and just go curl up. I was up till 2 a.m. last night. Uh, it's. I have problems? I guess? I don't know. The excuse I have for that. <laughs> yeah, that looks real cool. Guys! Guys, I like it! Snaps in the chat! <laughs> Alright. This wasn't where I was expecting to go with this, but uh, she popped off, so I'm not mad. sleep on it but I think I might be finished um so I can't I'm at a point where I worry doing more is going to be too much there is such a thing as too much even though I drew a woman who is possessed who's glowing from the inside out <laughs> and it's okay anyway that's it's a good time to wrap up 8 30 Two and a half hour stream. Yeah, why not? And call it done and done on all the things. And I got to test out the new overlay and I got to test out the new follow animation and I got to test out the music and I'm happy with everything. I think it all turned out real swell. No giant hiccups at the start either. Guys, I think I'm getting the hang of this. Oh, OMG. I probably just jinxed myself for the next stream, but. <laughs> yeah, this is a lot of fun. I'm gonna think about what I want to do for the next one. I don't, I don't have any other sketches or drawings that I'm ready to uh, finish or finalize, so. I might have to go back to the <laughs> drawing board and figure it out. <laughs> but I'll probably stream again soon. I hope. I have no idea. There's a lot of stuff. I want to watch Royal stream on Thursday if she does stream. And then, of course, there's always the potential to be watching Cardinal's stuff. So who knows what I'll be doing. I'll be busy and stuff. So. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna call it a night, folks. Thanks for joining me and checking out all the cool new things. Helping me finish up this drawing that I had no idea was gonna go in this direction at all. And I'm not mad at it, frankly. I think, I think we did great, folks. Teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Alright, good night, Obscene. Good night, Jason. Good night, whoever is still here watching. I don't know who it is, but they're lurking, and I see you. <laughs> Good night, everybody, and I will see you in the next stream. 
uh, if you don't follow, do follow for notifications because I'm terrible at telling people when I'm going to stream. So do that and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye everybody.